Hey guys, I'm here in my home studio. I'm going to show you a little bit more about my process. I take a lot of photos and I look at them when I get back into the studio. And one of the things that I look at is I bring them all into iPhoto and then I can look at them as, as a whole, as a group and look at their individual compositions. Um, and I've already gotten a canvas started here. I like to pre-tone my canvases and I do that in acrylic, typically acrylic paint. And I really like to have this kind of orangey background and I mix the paint with gesso to make it uh, slightly more absorbent. When I begin a painting, I usually start with a pretty limited acrylic palette. So I think it's pretty important to not overwork the painting at this stage in the game. So um, I usually like to walk away from it at this point and let this first layer dry. I still really like to have some little bits and pieces of the toned canvas coming through, but as you can see, this is, it's very loose. It's very expressive. I used a relatively large brush um, and I kind of like this size brush in proportion with this size canvas. If I was working on a, a larger canvas, of course I'd use a, a larger brush, but um, this makes sense for laying in all of the shapes and the general composition that I'm going for. Here, I've put out some more colors, uh, some luxury, I like to call them luxury colors because they're kind of like not, not your basic colors, like this like kind of like lime green thing going on over here and this kind of like periwinkle. Um, I've collected a lot of paint over the years and I will look, typically look at a piece and see what colors I think are going to best, you know, be best suited for the piece. And that's how I choose what my palette's gonna be. My palette's different every time. I have go-tos of course, but um, I usually make a judgment based on what the, the piece is going to be. So in this case, because we're painting, uh, water and a lot of foliage, lots of greens and blues. I let the painting dry overnight, so the acrylic is nice and dry, and I am going to get started with uh, painting the oil portion now. I don't do anything like special. Uh, I just paint right on top of the acrylic to work on uh, many projects at the same time, just because of the way that I do things, it, I like to layer. So I can, you know, work a little bit on something, put it aside, work a little bit on something else, put that aside, work a little bit on something else and so on and so on. And, to, you know, so I can bring up um, many pieces at the same time to a level of finish. Um, you know, and I think that that allows me to work more, uh, more efficiently and gives my pieces a, a consistent look. I know that a painting is finished when I can't nitpick anymore, when I like my work to look unresolved, I think is a more appropriate word. I like for you to be able to see the brush strokes. I like for you to be able to see that this is paint on a canvas and not a photograph. That's why uh, for me, color, composition, light, is very important. The further away that you get from the piece, the more in focus it becomes. In my studio, it's a constant, uh, it's a constant dance. I have my, my very comfy chair uh, for when I'm doing, uh, you know, smaller work or, you know, um, work where I have to, you know, commission work where I'm trying to get like a likeness. So I might be spending like a very long time on a piece. Um, but I like to, uh, you know, push the chair aside and work on larger pieces standing up so that I can get far away from it. Sometimes I'll stand, you know, the other side of the room or I'll put, um, I'll put the piece at one end of the hallway and I'll walk <laughs> to the other end of the hallway so that I can get a good look at it, um, from, from further away, you know, especially, um, you know, pieces that are going to be in somebody's home or I'm going to display them in, in, uh, in the gallery. You know, I want, um, uh, I want to see the piece as somebody else would see the piece. So, um, kind of approaching it from, from far away and, and getting closer to it. So 
that's uh, one of the things that I'm, you know, one of the many things that I'm looking at in a piece when I am approaching uh, finishing it. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to leave me a tip so that I can continue to make art, uh, my Venmo is Beth-Ann-Wilson, or you can PayPal me BethWilson13 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.